Okay, and welcome to Gravy and the Fat Man. I am Gravy, and I will be doing the commentaries while the Fat Man plays the games. Our th playthrough today is a game called Waxworks. It's a 1992 first-person dungeon crawl-style RPG. For those who don't know, an RPG stands for a role-playing game. Moving along, it's infamous for its st still startling depictions of gore in 256 colors, and it's very difficult gameplay. This is Horasoft's last game before they made AdventureSoft, a company renowned for their Simon the Sorcerer series. Waxworks. Those images on the bottom right-hand corner of the screen will make sense in a moment. Oh, he's ugly. <laughs> if I were him, I wouldn't enter, but we have to. Welcome to your uncle's waxworks. As you listen to your uncle in the crystal ball, you pretty much gather what the game and the story is about. You go to each of the waxworks to try to find your evil twin brother and stop him. Also, to stop an evil curse that has been on your family for generations. But we'll get to that much, much later. Yeah, he takes forever. And then we enter the Waxworks. This one is the Egyptian Pyramid one. Very difficult. Our next Waxworks is the Mines, or as we like to call the Cthulhu Mines, depicted by the horrible and evil monsters. The next one is the Jack the Ripper waxwork, which will be doing our first waxwork, but let's get to the other one first. This is the Graveyard one, and for the Castlevania fans, we call, like to call this one the Belmont chapter, due to the graveyard and the zombies that will like come out of the graves and attack you. So let's begin with the Jack the Ripper waxwork. The eighth evil twin lived in Victorian London and soon became known as the Terrible Jack the Ripper. From what I have been able to gather, the motive for the terrible crimes was to prove sacrifices to Beelzebub, the devil. But in order to do this, he would arrange strange meetings with call girls that were so common in the day, and would brutally murder them. The police hunted for this evil killer for months, but to no avail he was always narrowly avoided capture. Mobs of vigilantes roamed the streets at night looking for the evil killer. One night, the infamous killer disappeared without a trace, and no more murders of that type were committed. The popula populace credited Jack's disappearance to a call girl that supposedly fought back and killed him. The body, body was alleged to have fallen from the River Thames and floated out to sea. There's evidence to suggest that a stranger in the area that night had something to do with it. He too disappeared, without a trace, the same night.
We pick up a bag and we move along. There's money in the bag and there's also a diary. A very important thing too, you look like Jack the Ripper. So you have to avoid the bobbies or the police officers and also the mob of angry people because you can die very easily if you do not know what you're doing. Inside the barrel we find animal guts. That will come in handy in a moment. You can get lost very easily if you do not know what you're doing. Then you only have a limited amount of time so that the bobbies or the crowd does not catch you. Go through the door. We pick up a, a wooden plank. Almost got captured. You can use your movement by using the arrow keys on your keyboard to go left, right, up, and down. You know, pretty simple, straightforward. And use your mouse to point and click to open doors, grab objects, use objects that are in your bag that you carry. Whoops. Unfortunately, the fat man has got caught, resulting in your character getting hung. As a result, unless you don't save, you will automatically be brought back to the waxworks and you'll have to re-enter and redo the progress that you had up until your death. As the fat man just demonstrated, he saved the game. That way he doesn't have to re-go back to the whack works like he just did. That and if he forgets where he's going, he can also just reload the save. And then we're off to get the wooden plank. And we got the plank again. Saving over the ripper file. Got caught by another bobby. But thankfully the fat man saved, 
and then we can just reload our fire real quick. Let's try to get the cot this time. Moving up the ladder. We use a plank to get between the gap between the houses. Then we enter the building. Go through the door. Moving about the house. I feel like there's a lot of stairs. Ah. We get a key. Two keys. Go up the stairs some more. Save again real quick. Pretty sure we don't want to go back in the house and have to redo that. We pick up a rope in a barrel. Go up some more ladders. Use a rope on the chimney, climb down, go into a building. We pick up the map. Now we have the letter that we just looked at. We picked up a bowler hat. A jacket. Waistcoat. Put on the jacket. Put on the bowler hat. And then we save once more. And this concludes part one of the Jack the Ripper Waxworks.